As technological advances have made media more easily distributed and consumed, there has been an extreme polarization in what the audience sees. The competition between outlets has led artists and companies to jump to dramatic, attention-grabbing headlines in order to garner the most consumer interaction. In a day and age where some people believe anything that they see or hear from their preferred media source, headlines like these can cause severe damage to marginalized groups like immigrants. The journey of a migrant is unique to each individual, but there are many commonalities between migrants as a group. That identity shift is made extremely difficult by not only the internal pressures to be good enough for your family and your community, but also by the external sentiment from your new neighbors that you don't belong or you're nothing more than a dangerous problem. They're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those problems with us. These negative views are personified in Rags the Musical by Charles Strauss and Stephen Schwartz. The musical follows several Jewish immigrants as they navigate their newfound lives in 1910s America. Rebecca Hershkovitz and her son David are searching for her husband Nathan and on the ship to America, she meets Bella Cohen, a teenager immigrating with her father Avram. Throughout the musical, the American citizens display hatred, disgust, and fear towards the immigrants, which exemplify the negative feelings that are still harbored today. The musical was created in 1986, and critics celebrated its release, but audiences weren't so pleased, causing its run to end after only four shows. There was a much more successful revival of the show in 2020, which may suggest that early audiences were not yet ready to tolerate the discourse on immigration. Once the families land at Ellis Island, they're met by immigration officials who are bragging about how easily migrants can be exploited for profit. The song Greenhorns implies that migrants are only good for the low down factory jobs, which Americans would never do. And that Americans are opportunists and they're seen as saviors who are taking the dirty migrants and making them clean. Although this song is explicitly saying that migrants are necessary for the capital system to continue, many people like to ignore this and say that immigrants are hurting our country and are stealing jobs from hardworking Americans. These ideas are often coupled with the notion seen in a lot of American media that immigrants are greedy and only care about themselves. Shoja Patel uses her own experiences as a migrant to counter this harmful narrative in her book. We admire your $65 haircut when you pay us $22 a day to raise your child. We love your children when their strollers cost more than a year's rent where we come from. We turn away when they throw food around like another toy to hide our tears at images we carry of children fighting over half a banana children picking grains of rice off the floor. This is the side of immigration that isn't portrayed in the media. When migrating to America, people aren't automatically offered the highest paying jobs. In fact, it's actually quite the opposite. Immigrants are working for far less money and are being judged when they can't immediately afford to fit in with the American crowd. This in turn increases the culture based on us versus them. In Rags, when Bella finally starts to accept that she could fit in in America, the next song snaps her out of it. Human debris, bringing crime and disease. Deserve a wretched refuse, take a good whiff, and you'll discover what we mean. Here, the Americans are making it abundantly clear that they do not associate or identify with the immigrants at all. Saying that America is red, white, and blue and not green is a callback to the song Greenhorns and is somehow implying that immigrants have ruined our country with their presence. The noting of the immigrant smell in the song is something that Patel actually thinks is important. Hunt, hunt. they stink of 31 hours in transit. How tight are we all stink with the bravado of all the years, pain bitten down on gargantuan hopes, holding on through near disasters, never, ever giving in to softness 
the stench rises off us, unbearable of what was never said. So even though the Americans in rags use smell to discriminate against the migrants, Patel challenges this and says that the migrant smell is actually a result of the hardships that immigrants face and have to brave in order to be successful. In both the show and in real life, people can be very detached from the migrant struggle. But Patel goes to remind everyone that anybody can be displaced at any time. 